Armando has to do on biology and medicine videos. Please make sure to subscribe. Join the four main group for the latest videos. Please visit Facebook Armando has to do on. In this video, we are going to look at the mechanisms of uh, renin release, and there are three main ones. But before we go and look into the mechanisms of renin re release, let's just understand where it comes from, which is the kidneys. So the kidneys actually produce the renin, and renin is an enzyme, an important enzyme to that aims to increase blood pressure. So let's just try to understand the structure of of the kidneys, like the what it's made of, and it's made out of the functional units called the nephron. The nephron has a front, the Bowman's capsule area. It has the proximal convoluted tubules. It has the loop of Henle, which is essentially a loop, and then it has a distal convoluted tubules, which actually goes back up and sort of meets uh, with the head of the nephron, and then the collecting ducts, where urine essentially comes comes through, uh, produced. So uh, here I'm drawing a blood vessel. The blood vessel will enter the glomerulus, the Bowman's capsule area, and will the, the blood will be filtered into the nephron. And then the blood, the remaining plasma will leave the blood vessel. And if you want to understand more about this nephron and the kidney physiology, uh, please watch uh, a video on that. But we won't really talk about that there. But we will focus on this section here because this section is, um, where, is, where we can, is where we can find cells that produce renin. So let's just zoom into this section and understand a bit more about the structures and cells found in this area. So here, um, this area is known as the juxtaglomerular apparatus. And it essentially consists of the head of the nephron here. It has the Bowman's capsule, which is essentially this space within this within the head of the nephron. And then you have the proximal convoluted tubules, which are made up of more cuboidal-like cells, as you can see. Whereas the, the head of the nephron, it's sort of just uh, squamous cells, just thin cells. And as I mentioned before, um, the distal convoluted tubules of the nephron actually sort of meets back up with the head of the nephron. And this is important because there are cells around this area known as the macula densa cells. And we will talk about these cells soon enough. And again, just to orientate where we are, we have blood vessels coming into the head of the nephron, blood blood vessel known as the afferent arteriole, and the afferent arteriole will bring blood into the Bowman's capsule into, to form the glomerulus. And then this, this blood, the plasma, will be fil filtrated into the nephron, and then the remaining plasma will just leave out through the efferent arteriole. Now, there are a group of cells for located around here where the afferent arteriole comes in around this area and where the distal convoluted, uh, convoluted tubule sort of meets the head of the nephron. There are a group of cells here known as the juxtaglomerular cells. And it is these cells, the juxtaglomerular cells, that produce the enzyme renin. When renin is produced, renin does not get filtrated into the nephron, but it just passes through all these blood vessel stuff and will leave through the efferent arteriole. And then renin will just enter systemic circulation. So there are three ways renin is released. First way is through what's known as the baroreceptor mechanism. The baroreceptors are a group of receptors that detect changes in pressure. So when there is decreased pressure in the afferent arteriole, this will promote renin release. Okay, just before we continue on, why would this be? Well, the, the goal of renin is to increase blood pressure. So if you have a decrease in pressure, this tells the juxtaglomerular cells that, hang on, we have decrease in blood pressure. Let us make renin to increase blood pressure. So that is uh, the first mechanism of how renin is released through the baroreceptor mechanism. The second mechanism is simple. It's the sympathetic nerve mechanism. 
And this is essentially the nerve, the sympathetic nerve fibers, which are beta-1 adrenergic nerves that stimulate renin release. Because during periods of sympathetic activity, fight or flight, you have you usually have an increase in blood pressure. And so you have renin release. The third mechanism, which is probably one of the most important, is the macula densa mechanism. And macula densas are sort of chemoreceptors that detect how much sodium chloride pa are passing through the distal convoluted tubules. And so if there's a decrease in sodium chloride in the distal convoluted tubules, these macula densa cells will stimulate the juxtaglomerular cells to produce renin. But it's also the same case if there's an increase in sodium chloride. If there's an increase in sodium chloride, this will tell the juxtaglomerular cells to stop producing renin. And similarly with the baroreceptor. Anyway, let's, look, let's talk a bit more about renin and what it does, just briefly. So, as we mentioned, renin aims to increase blood pressure. How? Well, there's this uh, substance, well not substance, there's this substrate produced by the liver known as angiotensinogen. And this just floats around until it meets renin in the bloodstream. Renin is an enzyme which will convert angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 does a few things in the body, but it's not very important in this case. However, when angiotensin 1 travels to the bloodstream and, uh, and goes towards the lungs, for example, it will come across an enzyme in the lungs, in the alveoli of the lungs, called angiotensin converting enzyme, or ACE for short. ACE will convert angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 is a extremely potent uh, um, uh, blah, hormone that increases blood pressure. So it will do many things that will increase blood pressure. And I'm not going to talk about it in this video, but hope you enjoyed this video on the mechanisms of renin release. Thank you for watching. Bye.